Okay, part two. Now let's do subtracting mixed numbers again. It is more accurate if you just change your mixed number into improper fractions, especially when doing subtraction. Okay? Okay, there you go. We're now focused. So, again, let's convert this. Remember how to do it? Denominator times the whole number is 8 plus the numerator is 9. And what will be the denominator? As we said, the denominator always remains the same. Okay, now copy the operation properly. Okay, now let's do this. Denominator times whole number is 3 plus numerator 1, 4. So this will be 4 over 3. Okay, now they are unlike fractions okay so we need to make them into like fractions by looking for the least common multiple again we said that in order to save time you can just multiply the denominator and later on make sure that you put your answer into lowest terms or simple form okay so Okay, make sure to copy the operation properly. So our new denominator would be 4 times 3, 12. Okay, again, ask yourself, how did 4 become 12? We multiplied it by 3. So you should do the same with your numerator. Now you have an equivalent fraction, okay? Because when you put this into lowest terms, it would go back to this one, okay? Now, what did you multiply by 3 to get 12? We multiplied it by 4. So, do the same with the numerator. So, the new numerator here would be 4 times 4, 16. Okay? And the answer is... What is our denominator? Always remains the same. What is now our numerator? 27 minus 16, which will give you... 11 okay now is 11 over 12 lowest terms yes 11 is a prime number and 11 is not a factor of 12 so this is your final answer okay bye